Okay, let's run the performance counters uh, exe. Um, so when I'm running it, I'm running it as uh, administrator. So the X is uh, displayed here. Um, in the article, you already saw that um, the performance counters are created um, when the form is uh, loading. And that's why you saw a little delay uh, while the uh, while the sample application is coming up. Okay. So let's open the performance X and see the. Uh, performance category so performance monitor utility is uh, opened here uh, I'm clicking uh, performance monitor so by default it will show the processor time as the performance uh, counter so I am removing it now we will add our uh, own counter uh, to remove the uh, default counter I just uh, selected that and hit the delete key in the keyboard ok to add a new counter just click this uh, plus icon in the performance monitor So I'm using uh, the performance counters from this local computer. Um, in the code, we created uh, the category name as uh, button usage. So whatever you saw here is the category, performance uh, category group. So let's go for a uh, button usage. Okay. This is the counter that we added. Uh, so when I click on this uh, down arrow, uh, you will see all the performance uh, counter which belongs to this uh, button usage group. So register click and update click, these are all the custom performance counter that we created. So I am just uh, clicking this and adding it and then I am clicking update click and I am adding it. Here I added these two counters that needs to be monitored then I am clicking OK here next uh, I will change the counter color update click counter color to blue so that it will be easily visible here in the counter So I will do uh, click uh, register uh, six or seven times. And you can see that you can see that uh, on each click um, the counters uh, increment uh, method is called. So you see a uh, rise in the graph and if I click two more time you will see further rise in the graph and similarly I will click uh, update button three or four times and you see there is a update as well and the graph is increasing here and if I click leave uh, I am using the same counter uh, which I used for increment when the register button is clicked now when I click leave the same counter will decrement it that means you will see a downtrend in the graph it will come here okay. now I will click uh, leave three times so we will see a downtrend in the graph 
so this is how you can actually monitor a, a performance um, this sample just shown on the button click uh, counting so it may be useful in a retail shop application you can imagine various application in which uh, a operator who performs a button click like uh, he is making entry for uh, billing then clicking the print button so you can attach the performance counter to the print to know how each operator in a counter is performing so okay anyway this is just a simple example which shown you uh, how do we add our uh, custom counter using code and then how you can use it in the performance monitor so i'm closing this video you will see in the next video